Can the unity and oneness that the mystic sees and feels in meditation ever be explained by physics? We have a strange situation of the mystical experience of comprehending a complete picture of reality with infinity, unity and oneness that seems to be outside of time and space. We also have physics that can explain the physical nature of reality using logic supported by mathematics but does not have a complete picture or theory of everything. If the mystical experience is truly part of a physical reality then a deeper understanding of physics should give us an explanation for the experience of unity and oneness. One of the things we can't totally explain using physics is time as a process with a future that is always uncertain and a past that can never be changed. We can link time to statistical entropy and the disorder and decay represented by the second law of thermodynamics. But then we have to ask ourselves where the organization comes from for the spontaneous disorganization. In other words, what is the driving force that has led to the beauty and diversity of life that in its most complex form can comprehend the unity and oneness of this force or universal process. It is madness to believe that the organization and diversity of life could arise out of the disorganization and chaos. But it is logical that the diversity and complexity of cell life could form out of a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This symmetry can even be seen on the International Space Station where a candle flame in almost zero gravity takes on the form of a sphere that interacts with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. This universal process could form the geometry for the first cell life with the forward momentum of light forming the driving force. If the physical or material world is explained as a process of continuous energy exchange formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light it can fulfill all the requirements for the mystical experience. This is an artist's theory on the physics of time that is based totally on physics and supported by mathematics. In this theory time and space are emergent properties. Objects or individuals form their own space-time by a process known as time dilation, by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to their energy and momentum. What we see and feel and try to measure as time is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, with the future coming into existence photon by photon with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. At the smallest scale of this process, the future is represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the wave function or probability function. This represents the same uncertainty we have with any future event that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. In this theory we have free will because the wave-particle duality of light is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer. This forms an interactive process, continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics, forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. In such a theory, the Planck constant is a constant of action in the process we see and feel as time. This is a process of continuous energy exchange, continuous change, or what I like to call continuous creation. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light is forming an arrow of time for each reference frame. Photon energy cascades down, forming greater degrees of freedom for each reference frame for the increase in entropy. This process also forms greater degrees of freedom for the evolution and diversity of life that has led to art, poetry and music. 
One of the main reasons why physics cannot explain the nature of physical reality to the same degree that the mystic can experience it is that we have no understanding of the mysterious nature of consciousness. This theory gets around this problem by dumbing down consciousness to the level of electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential. By doing this we can place the individual in the moment of now in the center of their own reference frame relative to this electrical activity. It is this personalization of the brain that gives us the concept of mind with each one of us in the center of our own reference frame with our own individual view of the universe being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. Only by dumbing down consciousness in this way can the conscious stream of unbroken ever-changing flow of ideas, perceptions, feelings and emotions that make up our lives be explained as the most advanced part of one universal process. This fits in with scientific research that has found that between four and eight seconds before you have a conscious insight to a solution, to a problem, the solution has already been found. In other words, the timing is out and it makes no logical sense. But if we have a universal process with time and space being formed by energy, then even the energy of conscious thought will form time dilation, slowing up the rate that time flows. Consciousness in the form of electrical impulses can interact with the external environment by a process of continuous energy exchange that distorts the geometry of space and time with the future coming into existence photon by photon. The photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force and therefore forms a movement of electromagnetic fields with the flow of charge. The atoms react with the electromagnetic light waves, forming new photon oscillations, distorting the geometry of space-time, creating time variations between and within objects. It is time variations within magnetic fields that act as a source for electric fields, and time varying electric fields is a source of magnetic fields. When one field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the objects creating the time variations, the atoms themselves. A person in meditation will bring his or her energy levels down. This will change the geometry of time and space. Time dilation will decrease, and as time runs faster, we have a decrease in length contraction of space. Space will expand and the distance between A and B will increase as time speeds up relative to the decreasing energy levels. The person meditating will experience this for what it is, the unity and oneness of one universal process with the electromagnetic force expanding out to infinity. As an artist I'm outside the scientific community so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Please subscribe on YouTube and share and rate.